Hello, McWarriors. How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tag. We have a Mecha Godzilla part, one of them, guys. And you guys told me that there should be more. The flashpoint that we've seen will respawn. But in the meantime, we are going to play some missions in order to get some better mech parts and make our mechs a little bit stronger. So the plan for today is we're gonna wait until everything is repaired. I don't know if I'm gonna completely wait for the Timber Wolf. We will see about that, depending on... Uh, how long it actually takes to get these things online. I really want to play one of these missions that are available right now. So I'm going to wait for the Timby um, for, you know, the next upgrade. Uh, I'm going to use um, the assassination mission here in the lowlands. We have a lot of monetary payout. It's a four and a half skull. And we should be able to get this thing done. And also maybe get our first few assault mag parts that we so desperately want. So, let's get the Phoenix in here. We're gonna take the Uziel, the Waka is back. We have, I don't know, a Fujin and the Cloudbuster. I think we can have all of them. Pretty good. So, Finnan. Finnan, the Cloudbuster man. Yes, he already has some affinity. And I want to quickly check. Um, vector plotting at 40 for one evasion ignore. We are almost there. We got like 37 or something. Yeah, 37. So, three more deployments in the tank and he's getting another evasion ignore. That is so massive. We got Magpie here, who already got some affinity on the Fugion, so we're gonna keep her where she is. And then, of course, the Phoenix, Kaspar, Maris, and Uziel. It's gonna be Bjorn? Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 that's pretty good. Okay, guys, that's gonna be our squad. We're gonna go in with four and a half against four and a half, so let's see what we can do. Okay, we are already in the fight. We have some friendos. Okay, I was not expecting that, but I believe the enemies. Also, got a support lance? I don't know. So we have people here. And we have Bron Brock Armstrong up here. So you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna start right in the front of this guy. We wanna take him down and leave it for our friends to deal with the reinforcements for the escorts here. Alright, our support mechs on the battlefield. It, it doesn't seem like it. That should be a walk in the park then. Alrighty then. Let's see. I mean, the enemies might still get some great... Great stuff on the battlefield, like a Catapult 3R5. That thing is nasty. These come with big weapons, two of them. Uh, we have, what? An Awesome as an enemy, all right? We have a Bombardier as an enemy, all right? We have a Gallant. Oh, these things are tough. These things are so tough. And a Von Lukna. That's, uh, that's some metal on the board. Also, a Shrike. Black Rose. Wait, isn't that the guy with the Death From Above stuff? Um, I need to see. I need to know. J Talents, yeah. Oh, I want it. I really want it. Also piloted by the Red Queen. Interesting. You got Recon Sensor, Enhanced Imaging. I thought you had something like Flight Sensors or so that you can actually use those Talents. Command Mech. Man, I want this thing. Partial Wing System, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. All right, Clan Griffin as well as an Urban Mech with Rockets. On our side, by the way, on our side. Cool. Man, we have everything we want. I'm um, gonna go and uh, use Finnan. Should have sprinted for seven, by the way. I misclicked, sadly, because there was a bit of a lag. But anyway, I'm gonna take down the catapult first. It's the energy catapult, so hyper lasers. All right, Uziel wants to jump behind cover. And brace it up. The good news is, we got a lot of AMS. The bad news is, I don't think the enemies have a lot of missiles. Uh, Archer. You know what? Maybe we put the Archer down here to support. That might be a good idea. Griffin, moving around a bit. Beautiful. Obviously, I'm gonna jump and try to attract fire without obviously getting hit, hopefully. So, generate some evasion. Push the catapult. And then we got the Waka, who also doesn't really want to go for the cat. I think we're better off just moving down here. And uh, supporting. Enhanced imaging on. <sighs> do I keep my angel active or not? I think I'm gonna do it, yeah. I think I'm gonna do it. If I put it in passive mode, then I would get more self-defense. But I still wanna protect the Archer a bit more with our active ECM. Alright, Fujin, let's go. You're stealth, you should be fine. This is gonna be very nasty if the catapult is able to hit us. Von Lukna also, lots of damage. Look at all of this. LRM-10, AC-10, PPC, SRM-4, 75 tons, 900 armor. Insane. So, the Grasshopper. Our good old punch board. Where do we want it? I think down in the, on the, in the fight here. We're gonna put it into the thick of it. 
right because if we destroy the catapult with the or if we destroy it in general and our grasshopper is here he has a long way to travel to get back into the fight um what's the angle i think this is it great almost done so here's the awesome which variant is the awesome by the way it's a uh, it's a mixed one one ppc one lrm 15 a large laser and a small laser okay so there are some missiles on the battlefield gallant on the griffin and he's shredding i hate gallants i hate him so much man they're also very very sturdy hard to take down i just made contact with it in one of my live streams on twitch that was not good oh you're the heavy ppc guy not the the laser one but still kind of same same thing applies we gotta take him down quickly very very quickly to the fusion here we go and i think i mean he has an integrated laser ams but i think my quad missiles are still good here let's go the bam good hit very good hit so zero out of eight destroyed so our quad missiles were not in vain perfect I don't really want to destroy his arm. Ideally, we're gonna destroy just the leg, knock him down, and then take the other leg for all of the goodies in the catapult. They come with battle computers, and our timber wolf could really need some. Let's see if we can snatch some of them. All right, here's the Shrike. Didn't really go for anything crazy, but that's all right. Yeah, we're gonna keep him pushed. More AMS, more crit. Do I want that PPC? Do I care about it? I don't think so, actually. So the risk PPCs are a bit hard to use. Oh, scrap him. Wow. Exceptional damage. Also overheat. Who overheated? You? Wait. Our urban mech with the rockets overheated? <laughs> oh, bloody retaliation. Bloody retaliation. But he almost single-handedly took out a whole mech, so that's okay. We can settle with that. Cool. Let's go in here. Let's go attack the awesome. He wants to be attacked on the left side again, so maybe we can get something done. SRMs. Uh, yeah, let's go. Got his leg. And a headshot. Oh, he's gonna go down. That's perfect. Awesome, on the ground, six initiative. This guy is gonna not live. He's not gonna live for a single shot to make. So what about the von Luckner in the back? Getting into the barrage. I mean, why not? Ow. Yeah, he got damage. He got damage. That's a bad boy. Cool. Cool. I want to kind of see if I can go for a kick attack because again I want to hit the leg important to me I will not shoot the bombs I think the mines can be shot why not so let's go and kick this guy this is salvage for us please yeah good 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 bit of follow-up is needed now 19 damage and we got what we wanted bam also got some heat that's nice Radical heat sink, emergency coolant system, all of that active, but we also got the knock. So, Brock Armstrong, you are more like Brock Leg Weak. <laughs> Good. So, Cloudbuster closing in, trying to get the hit out on the other leg. Fire. Oh, that was the arm. That's not what I wanted, actually. That was a bad shot, mister. I think I want to jump, generating the most evasion that I can get, and I think I also want to hit the awesome again. You know what? We go for face. We're just gonna go right for where it hurts. Nope. That is a big nope. Hero on the archer. Let's fan out a little bit. I want to also hit the bombardier. I don't know which mech to use though. Hmm. It's weird. Hey, the, the Alpha Strike is too big to waste on a bomb. Oh, like, mm. 
Somebody else can take care of him. I'm gonna go for the crazy stuff here. It's a very, very weird tension field where you just need like 30 damage to take him down. Or so. Yeah, it's a bit more than that, but still. I don't wanna get a full missile alpha strike in there. Yeah. You can take him. That's fine. Great. Pretty good. Now, what? I ignore the catapult for the moment. We have enough stuff here, but I think I want to attack this a little bit more. We go in with incendiaries. Take him down. Deals the most damage of all, but it's not a kill. So, also, I'm not afraid of the, the awesome. Sorry, getting a hiccup here. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, he got two injuries already. He was knocked, so he's not going to have any accuracy. Whatever that shot was, it did not connect. Good. So, enemy is trying to run away. Griffin. Large laser destroyed. Perfect. And now the gallant. Stupid, stupid gallant. Uh, he's going for it. Nice shot there. The PPC connected to my archer. But the missiles did not. Okay, Irby powers up. Oh, it's an ERPPC and a bunch of LRMs. Right. Awesome now. Unsteady again. Getting another injury. No, wait. He resisted. Yeah. Totally resisted. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to attack him from here with another kick and see if we can maybe go for leg again. We technically should only hit leg. No, when the enemy's on the ground, we can actually hit other components as well. That's, an, that's a thing that I didn't know. But it makes total sense. Exchanger double plus destroyed. No. Still panicked and here, huh? Okay. So you, my friend, you're gonna take care of the awesome. Boom, awesome down. Very nice. Also, I think it was an engine crit destruction. That's good. Uh, yep, fusion, come in here. Try to hit him with the gals on the leg. Maybe that works. Also, more mines, because we can. Let's do it. Beautiful, but that wasn't what we wanted. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Jump around. Very important to stay mobile. On the leg. Oh, the Dreadnought Gyro crit. Come on, he's panicked. He should go now. Look at all of the stuff here. Clan XL Engine, Experimental Targeting Computer, Radical Double Heat Sync Kit, Integrated Laser AMS. Beautiful. Beautiful. Dreadnought Gyro. Beautiful. Griffin is getting peppered. There's a Battle Computer recoil there. Hmm, I love that thing. What do we have here? Risk Fire Control System? And then the PPC there. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. I want to go fast. Let's go fast. Is this it? Wait. I thought I turned it on. Uh, it's a bit faster, but not super fast. We're gonna get the 7 evasion and try to hit him with the plasma. That'll... That might. That might kill the tank. Destroy it. Almost. Bullet trap. How would I do this here? Mm, I mean, we need to hit the cat. That's important. Okay, trap is gonna go over here, and we're gonna try to deal slow damage to the center, the crit, with... I don't know, Typhon is not good. It is area of effect damage. Uh, this is... This is really weird. This is really, really weird. I'm gonna shoot all of these. Let's go. Maybe? Maybe we just destroyed the engine? No, the gyro is destroyed. Ah, oh, okay. So this is gone. This is all gone. Let's keep going. Hit the von Lukner on the left, I think. Which is this one? No. I think it was the other one. Good. Lukner down. The only guy that we have to destroy is the Galan. That was an easy mission. We still have a lot of Alpha Strike here. So, attack relentlessly. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, dudes, I should have moved. The Ganon is really fast. Yep, 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 yep. I am not really faster with anybody. No. So what we need to do is an offensive push, which is totally doable. Rock a rock a rock. Good. Now he's down to 15, and that means the Griffin can follow up, and we should be good. Or maybe not. Which is actually cool, because I, I want to get the kill with one of my guys. So we're going to get the experience bonus. Here we go. Nip. Not like this. Somebody else. Oh yeah, that'll totally kill. Good. So, that was the first mission of the day, guys. I think we're going to play another one, because we still have a lot of time left for this video. So, assassination, success. successful. I was actually expecting more resistance. They only came in with one lands, which is a rare occurrence, so I'm taking it, but, um, you know, we shouldn't take this as a benchmark. We also had friends, and uh, if the enemies were pushing us harder, then we would have gotten more trouble. So, four and a half, definitely doable, but we gotta be cautious. So what, would, what do we take? That's the question here. Let's take a look at storage. We have no awesome parts, we have one bombardier part, which is not showing up here, weird, when I click it. Uh, catapult. Doesn't show up as well. Gallant, Von Lugner. These are good tanks. They're just all around okay. But I don't think I'm gonna take this thing right now. Heavy Risk PPC. Let me take a look at this thing again. It's 10 tons, 90 damage, 55 feet. That thing is so massively, so massively hot. Uh, jamming of 3 is incredible though. Um, it has a... Oh, the falloff. Yeah, the falloff was the problem why I didn't really take it that much. 260% of the damage starting at long range. It's not good. The weapon has a recoil of 2 as well. This is manageable. I don't like the damage falloff so much. So when you shoot at long range or beyond, then you don't really deal damage anymore. <sighs> Makes it awkward to use. I don't use it. I'm not gonna take it. The battle computer recoil is something that we want to have later for something like a rock build. So I'm gonna take that. Fire control systems, heat banks, Pharaoh. We have that already. Trekker sensor. Well, something that is shooting from long range all the time. That's good. Um, Yeah, there's nothing really here that we want, that we desperately want. So I'll take the tracker. Maybe the heat bank is something that is good. But we have three of them, so never mind. What's the value here? 750 on the engine core. 940 on the heat bank. That's all right. I'll take it. An active probe. The LRM-20 Delta has more HP, but also to recoil. Which is again fine. I said it's a 20 rated weapon, which I'm not really too happy to get. 750 on the heavy PPC. The Magna is 330. 55 damage for 6 tons only, so it's a bit lighter than a regular PPC. Uh, but 50 heat is massive. Yeah, so it trades weight for recoil. This is good. So, a pretty good item, actually. Um, but yeah, what, what else will we take here? 1.8, 2.5, so 700,000 C builds for the von Lugner part. What's the catapult part worth? That's a lot of catapult worth. Wow. Should we just take him and sell these parts? Instead of the tracker sensor and everything? I, I think I'll do it. Let's see what we can get out of this. Sure. You know what? That's good money. So, we also take Gallant, Gallant, Von Lugner, ERPPC, Magna, Armored Cow can go. I'm gonna keep the Pharaoh around. The basic sensors are definitely gonna go. Single heat sink and uh, yeah, the ammo. I think I think I'm just gonna keep him just to have him when I need them. Good. That was the first mission, guys. Uh, let's do a little bit of battlefield repair, and I think we also take the Timberwolf to the next mission. I, I think I want to give it another go, and uh, right now we are still looking for something like an Angel ECM or... No, wait. Here is the thing. I believe we have a stealth system on the Timby, but what we want is the Null Signature system that we found last time. So we're gonna upgrade that, guys, so it's not getting hit that often anymore with a, with a better stealth shield, so enemies have a lower hit chance in general. That is a lot of war. Okay. The Amaris Empire. Pretty active. What's going on here? Holy crap. Uh-huh, uh-huh, interesting. So, 
There it is. 30,000 siebels of repair time and cost. Beautiful. And yeah, it doesn't matter my order here. Because we have um, three mech bays and all of them work at the same time. What we do want is the next financial report, obviously. And um, yeah, a, a quick look at the Timby. I want to bring it back to the battlefield. We could technically just drop now, but it's only like three days left. So I'm going to take that. Bam, Timber Wolf done. And we take a look at the store again, because, you know, every month there's a new, uh, you know, a new haul to get. A handheld rock too, you say? This is 1.2 million. Holy macaroni. What? Alright, it's 15 damage only. Times 3, up to 6. It's, it's alright. Recall of 1 per shot. 6% jam chance per shot. Ooh, how much ammo? How much ammo do you have? 120 shots, okay. Hmm. That's okay. You can shoot a bunch of times with that. Do we have anybody who is able to hold this? Like, how heavy is it? It's 10 tons. Man, that's a heavy weapon. I don't think we can hold 10 tons easily right now. So I'm just gonna skip it. Command console. We got jammers and AC2 flak ammo. That is good ammo. We also got some cluster, cluster bombs. And more high explosive bombs, which we already have. I've never really played around the cluster bombs. Maybe I should test them out. I think they deal a lot of stability damage. Yeah, 20. You are... 15 on, on impact, but... Wait. 25 area of effect stability damage to units in the radius. And 15 to the target itself. You have 15... No, 5 to the target itself, and 20 to the units. But this is a 90 meter radius, and high explosive is a 60 meter radius. So it's just bigger spread. I think I don't want it. No, I don't need bigger spread. That's not what we are here for. We're here for more, more damage. Uh, barracks I'm gonna do later. Let's go ahead and upgrade the Timby, and then we're gonna dive into the next mission. I just wanna see if we can rock that stealth armor. So right now, again, we have stealth, which gives us... Uh, harder to hit by two at medium range, at two by two at long range, and by three at extreme range. Um, we have the NSS, which gives us, uh, first of all, a five sensor check penalty for the enemies instead of three. Yeah. And then uh, we have harder to hit by two at medium, four at long, and six at extreme ranges. That's exactly what we want. I'm not gonna go with Mimetic Stealth, because the more you move, the more you lose your Mimetic Stealth. And we are moving a lot with this. So, NSS it is. Uh, it's getting a bit hotter because of it, but I think we can totally maintain that. We can totally manage it. So, Recoil Battle Computer is a thing we don't need here. Got our AMS. Yeah, I think we're fine. It's a lot of money to invest, but I think it's worth it. I want to protect this guy at all costs, because it's so beautiful. I mean, look at this guy. It's just amazing. Good. Get the Timby in here. Medical research opportunity. Magpie? Should we send her for a month? I think we can. Let's go. We get two medical points for 30 days. Okay, so it's that thing. Fine. I know I could read all of these, but I don't want to really. I really don't want to. It doesn't really matter that much. Goody. So, we go ahead and play the next mission, which is going to be ideally another one in the range of four and a half skulls. Because we have the value for it. There are a bunch of duels here. Attack and defend. This is four skull battle. This is five skull recovery. I hate the atoll. Really do. Ah, uh, did we do it? What is this? Are we playing Pac-Man here? <laughs> Seems custom. It's an urban environment, alright. No, I think I'm gonna go for the 5. Recovery could be good for us. We'll see about it. I'm taking all the stuff here because we are looking for bigger mechs. And I think our worst mech currently is the Uziel. Everything else is fine. So we replace the Timber with the Uziel. Well, the, the other way around. How many deployments did you have with the Timber Wolf? It doesn't matter. One only. Yeah, you want to stay on the Wacker because you almost got 40 affinity as well. Which gives us plus one defense. Not bad. So I guess Bjorn on the Uziel, uh, on the Timber, and uh, we are good to almost go. 
Anybody else wants to take care of the fusion? Maybe Ether. That will work. That'll totally work. Actually, Ether has neural implants, which would be really good for the DNI cockpit of the Timber Wolf. Uh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I want to go to the other lands. You're not able to run tanks. Oh, Bjorn, oh, Bjorn, oh, Bjorn. I think I'm gonna drop you. You know what? This is how we do it. Gonna take... Where, where's, where's she? Where's she? Where's she? Gunhild on the Fugin. And then we're gonna take Ether on the Timber Wolf because I want to grind affinity with him. He's gonna stay on this wolf for a long time. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. He's really bad at the moment. I, I guess that's it though. Let's see. So on this mission, we have two bases to get to and we are out of friends. All right, so we are alone. We have to face a bunch of enemies that might spawn a support lands. Usually I like to spawn here, but maybe we can mix it up a little bit. Maybe we're gonna advance from this angle because there's a lot of cover between us and the enemy. And we have a bit of mobility and long range that we can utilize potentially. So we're gonna drop all the way around here and, and we're just gonna hope for the best. Let's go. Oh, I'm on the wrong overlay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. So, uh, they have a support lands and they have a lot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Like, this is really bad for us. We might not have enough ammo for all of this. Oh, <laughs> binary laser demolisher. I think this is binary laser. It has to be. Uh, Padilla, artillery tank, nasty. Archer, nasty. I got a Hauptmann. Meh, it's a Hauptmann, it's fine. Hauptmann, by the way, the most hilarious mech in the world. Because he has a small laser in the face that looks like a cigarette or cigar. This, this there. It's so funny. So funny. Um, and then there's an Atlas as well. Atlas 3 even. We have a long bow. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. ho. Fulcrum. Cool. Uh, Cyclops is uh, relevant. There's a Zeus as well. God, there's there's a lot of stuff. So what we want is this. We want to move down here to the left side and deal with the longbow and the Zeus very quickly. I think these are targets that we can take out relatively quickly. Madcat Mark II. Oh boy, a Vulture as well with ATMs. Behemoth, you say? What? Like, what? What's going on here? Uh, let's, let's put the fusion, like, here. I don't know if that's a good choice. We're stealth, we should be fine, right? Nobody's gonna hit us. We got, like, four stealth charges. Ah! So, Jumpy Mech wants to jump. Always. Let's get some evasion and the guarded state. Oh man, there's a lot of long range that I don't appreciate right now. Really, it's, it's scary. It's scary as hell. I'm gonna move instead of sprinting here. Just want to get the brace status. Uh, 13 jumpies. The important thing is that we're gonna drop the bombs and the mines and all of that in this general area next round. I want to make sure that we make quick work with these guys. I think we need to attack him fast and relentlessly without uh, taking too much return fire uh, in order to survive this. Gotta take off firepower so quickly. Because they have a lot of long range that'll shred us if we're not careful. Alright, we should be fine with the wolf. What I don't like is that Ether doesn't really have a hit chance yet. So we have a lot of impact in the mech, but not a lot of accuracy. Makes the impact rather low. The behemoth is gonna be a pain in the butt. I mean, everybody will be. If only they didn't have the support lands, I think that we could have managed, but let's see. Let's see. I think if we break line of sight for the most part to what's in the center of the map, then we should be okay and maybe deal with what we have on the left side and then swivel over to what's left there. I already accept a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing that we have to just deal with. Damage will be massive. The repair cost will be massive. But look at all the things that are here. That's good stuff. Longbow. That's all right. It's nothing too crazy. Our AMS is gonna help us for a while, but not forever. 
Good. So. Uh, we don't really want to sprint into the zone, because then our flyer will be main target. And that's a thing I cannot accept. And let's go over here. So, Fulcrum, I don't care about you, Mr. Fulcrum. I'm gonna attack the Zeus. Or the Longbow. The Zeus is a, it's a rather easy target, but so is the Longbow. Inferno, Quad Missiles, High Explosives, Snark, yeah. Let's go for the Longbow first. Got some damage out. Got him detected. 36 heat as well. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Our Infernos don't really matter too much. I might as well drop him early on because in the late game we will drop him. We would drop them in the water, and that's not obviously not good. Zeus is running and showing us his back. Also, I think he got straight shot by a bomb or something. That's incredible. AM is out of ammo already. What are you talking about? How? Really? Okay. Who is reporting that? Uh, the archer? No. No, no. The archer doesn't have something like that. I think it might have been the vulture. Alright, we're gonna check this out. Ooh, boy, you oh boy, you oh boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're fine. I just want to have an activation. And man, we need to kill so quickly because th this barrage is going to be relentless. Who hit us there? Who was that? Turn 17? Missiles? Another longbow? Uh, might have been the archer. Might have been. Yeah, he was accurate. That's why I'm asking. They are getting a lot of damage on my Cloudbuster. It's a unit I'd rather keep, actually. All right. We're gonna move in jumps. Already have some stability. Might as well fill the bar completely and keep going. But I don't want to go hard here. This is an accuracy shot. Alright, he has some plasma on him. Pretty good. Waka. Oh, that's the mortar coming from the behemoth. And he's dealing stability damage galore. Right, we are on evasive now. But we can stabilize again. That's the good news. So is this... Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. It's not the best shot in the world, but I will take it. Uh, enhanced imaging should be on... Ah, we have an active... No, wait, we have we don't have the Uziel anymore, so we don't have an active uh, ECM around us. So we're gonna keep that on. To protect everybody a little bit. And then LRM. Let's go. I need to take this down now. Like, this round is important. Like, really important. We gotta make some progress, otherwise... Mm-mm, that's not gonna... Not gonna go well for us. Gauss first, then the missiles. Uh, sure, minefield, why not? Ah! No, yeah, actually, actually, I'm gonna keep the mines. I don't think it's gonna matter here against the longbow. And I don't think that these guys will run into the mines, so I might as well just drop it here or in the water. Dodge laser. Come on, buddy. Keep going, keep shooting, keep hitting. That's good. It's a nasty hit. But again, we didn't even king a, kill a single target yet. We should. Gotta do this. Do I do this? In the back of the Zeus with an Alpha Strike of missiles, we technically have a chance to kill this. Ah, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay, uh, let me see. Bullet trap. This is bad, but I'm gonna gamble. Don't do this at home, alright? I'm hoping that we get the kill on the Zeus. This is good enough. I'll settle with this. It's alright. We, we cut off the ballistic weapon. Which he didn't have. So, energy, energy weapon on the left arm. That is alright. So, and here's the thing. I can do this anyway. And our, in general, our... In general, our uh, pirate LRMs are a little bit shorter range, so I'd rather shoot our good long-range Artemis stuff against the further targets and use my shorter range against whatever is left of the longbow when we are done with it. Come on, take him down. Explode. 
He did not want to, but he's gonna fall and he's gonna get heat. So I'd say he's technically out of the game. Good, Saito also destroyed as well. That's another injury. Oh, actually, the first one. Ether! Ether, Ether, Ether. Gotta jump! Okay, now he's bleeding out. Yeah, good, 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 good. Um, Ether's gonna jump and he's not gonna shoot everything. I'm thinking of a single micro missile 20 in fire and forget mode. I gotta think about my ammunition here, that's important. There's a lot of enemies. Okay, let's give it this. Like, 60 missiles? 60 missiles will kill. Like, if we hit half of them, then 30 missiles will hit. Something like that. Before we shoot, the in-eye on. And then center torso. Let's go. Good, 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 good. Oh yeah, he's done. 234 heat, something big exploded in him. That's the first target down and one crippled. Not bad for the first round. That's bad. <laughs> it's getting more and more damage on the Cloudbuster. I don't think he's gonna survive this. Really hope that Finn is gonna uh, is gonna live in the end. Who is that? It's the Padilla in the in the outskirts. Yeah. And we also took massive stability problems here thanks to the artillery. Okay, that's a thing that we need to factor in as well. We gotta think about it. So jumping around and being at one stability bar all the time is not good. Until we have destroyed the Padilla. Oh, out of ammo. I need to change the ammo. That's also a thing. Quickly. Now. No, I cannot intervene here. It hurts so much. But it's still doable. Totally, totally doable. So, we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna scroll all the way down. Go for caseless, because that's what we have still. Uh, what about you? Caseless. Got 37 shots left. Holy moly. You have still 600 something. Okay. Yut. Let's go. I mean, uh, backstrike. Sounds fun to me. Okay, let's go. The Mad Cat is already a bit hot, and I think I want to add on top of that. So we're going to use our Infernos, as I was saying. This time, Fast Cam, 100%. Uh, whew, hmm, huh. That's an AC-20. All right. Anyway, this is how we do it. More heat, more narc, more backstrikes. We need him next round. 17. Okay, something on the sidelines. Man, I, I really don't appreciate the Vulture right in our face with ATMs. And I really don't appreciate the Behemoth. <laughs> okay. Don't know what to do with the with the Cloudbuster, actually. This is not a good spot. I think I want to wait another turn. Because this tank is not really that relevant to the fight right now. So I don't really want to attack it and stay in a bad spot. Our AMS is still holding, but only on the timber and the grass. The grasshopper is empty now. That is that. So he's the Waka. What about that attack? Only long range missiles, no auto cannon. What about if we get a little closer? Could attack the Zeus from the front. Yeah, he may he's low on armor. Shot is good. Probably don't stray, right? Alright, I'll take it. Here we go. On the Zeus. We got him. Second target down. Only 10 more to go. Good. Good, good, good. It also gives us resolve, which is handy for the next few rounds to come. Caseless. 20 missiles. What's the archer, probably? Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we're getting there, we're getting there. What's that again? The Molisher Bombast Laser, not binary. It's even better. It's bombastic. Uh, let's stick to the plan. We're gonna stay on the sidelines. What's the next target? Maybe the Fulcrum. See, the Mad Cat wants to be shot from behind again. If we get a shot on the Cyclops, I'm gonna take it. Let me see. Like a reasonable one. 
Uh, this is reasonable. I'll take it. So, good hit chance. Uh, fire. Medium laser destroyed. Our flyer is a bit safer now. Good. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, turn 15 is gonna be massive. Let's see if he's gonna hit or not. He's running. Okay. This is all right. Archer is hit on the left side, not the right side. And again, AMS is really helpful right now. And I want them to close in a bit so we can then get over the hill and take him down. Behemoth is gonna drop mortar on us. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, and that makes the Timby unsteady, no matter what. Yeah. But the damage is splashy, so we're fine. Atlas, nothing. Oh boy. Oh god, we, we, we need to just move in this... In this case here. Alright, I'll do it. Wanna shake off the stability issues, and you know, the Mad Cat is hot right now, so might as well hit it with more plasma. If only we hit. Okay. Okay, next round, or next attack here. Should have moved instead of sprinted, as I think that I just realized. So we could get the Mad Cat a bit more heat right now. Which is fine, I think. Look, let's go incendiary on this. Again, the other targets in the water are not great targets for overheat damage. The Timberwolf is a very good one right now. Mm-hmm. Eugene, let's go. We want to stay away, that's important. I think that the Mad Cat is under control currently. So, I'm gonna try to scoot in here and help out with the Cyclops with the backstrike later. Right now, we'll try to take a target. Didn't quite get him though. Okay, fine. <sighs> and then, yeah, we have this little problem here. Our Cloudbuster is getting scrapped to pieces. I don't know, is the, le is the left side twist good? Good enough? I'm gonna just keep it like it is. Okay. It's fine. So, turn 10. Mmm. The micro missiles. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, we could do this, and I will because we got vigilance ready. Okay. Now, what do we want to hit? Ether has an atrocious hit, atrocious hit chance, but we might be able to knock Mr. Madcat. So now we are attacking from the front still, which I didn't really want to. It's a target lock. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go with a target lock attack. Saves a little bit of heat and gives us a, you know, better hit chance. Also conserving ammunition. That's important. And then here's the follow-up. Oh, it's not. Okay, never mind. Turn 20? Somebody else fast enough? Tim Uh, Yeah. This is, might be good enough. We'll see. Still not a kill. Okay, I didn't want to shoot my missiles indirectly at the Mad Cat only. I am kind of hoping that we're gonna initiate on turn 20. Oh, we have Hero. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Go ahead and hit him. Get him knocked. Let's do it. So, shoulder destroyed. Lots of damage on the armor. He's only... He only has 8... No, sorry, 16... Center torso armor, nothing anymore because of the fall. That's great. So, he is a very low-hanging fruit to pick. Kidoki. Problem is this. The Vulture is now able to get over the hill and dump high-explosive ATMs on us. Still on the buster. But yeah, I think our spread makes it, makes it good now. Um, so since Timby is down... Uh, the Mad Cat, I mean. The Mad Cat Mark II. Like, like, what, what's that? What's that position here? This is, this is basically nothing. No, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna reserve and wait for the vulture to attack me, and miss. 
instead of moving out there and getting shot to pieces. I want him to close in on us. And then we're gonna try to draw him in one by one until we are feeling comfortable. Okay, oh, that's the problem. We don't want to get the crew compartment destroyed because that'll kill the pilot. Okay, Mad Cat, Mark II. Ah, nothing? Ooh. You are still attacking us with all the heat you got? Interesting. Okay, he's cooling again. He's just good with cooling. That's what he skilled. All the cooling in the world. We might lose the Cloudbuster now. Depending on if the enemies are able to drop missiles on us. Yeah, it's a good target. Thank you. Whew. So, the, th the thing, the first thing to do is now turn around. Like this ish. Yep. We're gonna get out of here. And we're gonna still fire backwards. Hitting both of our lasers. Not through the right component, but anyway. Good news is we almost cleared the left flank. Then we can focus on what we have in the center. Cyclops. Missiles. That's alright. See, the fact is, we got the side also destroyed, not the front. And this is what I'm happy enough about. What if we jumped here? I think I want to get direct line of sight more than anything, and we really want to hit the Mad Cat. We have a decent hit chance, so... Yeah. Get the timber in the water. Go fire and freaking forget. And shoot the crap out of this guy, huh? Yeah. I know I said earlier, sitting at one stability is a thing that I should avoid, but... I, I need to also get things going. And, and that was just a good spot to be in. Good. So he's down. Um, we have our flyers coming in into the back of the Cyclops, and that is the end of this. Then we technically have a full chrome, but who cares about that guy? What I'm afraid of is the Behemoth. And the Vulture. And the Atlas. And the Padilla. And... The inevitable damage that is coming down every single round from the Behemoth is nasty as hell. Still need to make sure that I'm somewhat evasive instead, uh, in case we don't kill the Cyclops right now and he's gonna turn around and hit us. But we're gonna make sure. Let's go. Ah! Didn't get him. Made him unsteady though, and knocked him. Well, well, well. Uh, don't want to get in into the yellow zone. Very important. Otherwise, we would be prime target. That's all right. Stay away with the squishy flyer from the main fight. However, this guy needs to go, and I wanted him to go, but our Gauss rifle missed at 89%. That's unfortunate. RNG Jesus was not with us here. Problems. Yeah. They, they are stacking up now. Our problems are getting worse. I want them to come to me. Cannot really go melee and dive into this area here. This is not... This is suicide. Um, want to stay behind our little cover piece. Okay. Try to hit him, please. Come on. Ra! Almost. Almost. Um, so, here, here's the thing. Can I shoot indirectly and have a hit chance at this? Not really. Not really. I, I can hit the fulcrum, sure. That thing is never moving. The archer is somewhat hittable. But yeah, I think our best bet would be... Keeping up with the push. You're almost unsteady. Ah! Facing an Atlas like that, I don't think it's good. It's smart. Okay. Gotta do something about this guy now. Should I shoot everything? I'm, I'm actually afraid that we would lose because of ammo. So, I'm also keeping the Zeus LRMs out. I know it might not seem like a lot, but these guys can jam and I want to have them ready next round. So, this guy's down. Period. <laughs> We are making progress. We can stabilize again. 
with the archer who is getting attacked relentlessly. Oh boy! Don't like the burning forest. But I think we're going Vigilance. Uh, actually, I should have used Vigilance first and then sprinted. Would have been better! Um, and yeah, I, I think actually we're going in indirectly and trying to hit something. Something that's going on my nerves, really, like the Padilla. It's a rather... it's an easier target than the Behemoth, so we'll take that. Also, standard ammo. Let's give him the STD. Okay. It's a bit. The tiniest bit. 22. Uh, by the way, Cyclops is 16, we are 17 with the Phoenix, so I guess we're gonna kill this round. Really hope so. God, who's shooting those 10 damage missiles? Oh, the Vulture. <laughs> That's ATMs for you guys. That's totally ATMs. Ooh, it hurts. It really hurts. Uh, where's Padilla? Is that it? Oh, he just moved and didn't shoot? Maybe. Ideally, we want to attack the Vulture soon. I mean, we can. We can, but we started on the Padilla. Which we cannot really hit. Oh god, this is this is awkward. This is really awkward. I want to hit the guys in front of me. You know, we're gonna go Vigilant. Or any next round. If only they didn't have an Atlas and a freaking Bombast Laser Demolisher there. The direct line of sight is what I'm super afraid of. Also, I'm afraid of the ATMs. Okay, so what to do here? Gonna light this on fire? Maybe. Typhon. I mean... That is something. Hey, you got acid now. God, I really hope that is a good choice for what I'm making here. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Can only fire indirectly, but let's do it. Or damage per missile. Alright. Sensor lock. Who's getting locked? Oh, it's our vulture. I'm happy that I'm braced, at the very least. Archer. It's all splash. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> what a mission. Man! It's gonna be a hashtag quick mission here, huh? Oh my god. So, backstrike. I guess we wanna punch him because we wanna hit upper torso, right? Yeah, let's do that. We hit him. Alright. Small lasers, baby. Oh, he did not. He did not crit. But we got the AC-20 crit, we got a medium laser destroyed, and he's massively unsteady. Oh, no. That's the mortar from the behemoth. Yeah, it's getting it's getting slim on armor. It's getting really slim. Yeah. So, Cyclops is running. That's what I need. That's what I don't need. Don't like to see that the arm is getting shred. 31 here. The... Uh, the arm and the leg. We need those... We need those thingies. Is this the moment where we go all in? I feel like we should. Okay. I'm gonna reserve Wizard. I want the Atlas to make a move and not do anything. By the way, Atlas 3, Rotary 5, Medium Max Pulse, Quad... Streak SRM 6, uh, six hum, uh, and a streak at RM 20. What? Uh, we're screwed. Big time. In order to get a shout out, I need to jump, which I hate. We should stay away from the enemies. So I think distance is our friend right now. Oh, we don't have the vigilance. Oh god, and the stability is racking up. Okay, uh, wh what to do now? Mr. Timby is out of action for the moment. 
Wait a sec. Uh, I could jump over here. Yeah, I know. It's a problem. But anyway, um, and then go for this shot. Get something done. Come on. There we go. So Cyclops is down. That's progress. That's good. And now we also get more resolve for a potential... Um, what's his face? A potential... Vigilance next round. Okay, Fusion. Don't die, please. I want to hit you. Is the minefield better off here? Yes, so, right? It's not really doing that much anyway. So, no, I'm gonna drop it. Not ever. Not yet. No. Just a gal shot. Since he is coated with acid right now, he's taking more damage. <gasps> I can melee. Oh, I can do it. Let's go. Supercharger on, everything on. Huh? Okay, why just the charge attack? You're still calculating? Ah, there we go. So, we want to punch this guy. From here. Oh boy. Pl please hit him. Please. That's a hit. That should probably be a kill then. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, and we hit him in the head. Bam, bam. Pop, pop. Good. So there's a guy down. Maybe aggression is the way to get this done now. But putting my archer out there seems like a bad idea. Oh boy! Me no like. Me no like at all. Fine. You know what? We're vigilant. We should get this done. And I'm gonna go for the thing that I can hit. <sighs> uh, the LRMs are nasty, I know. I started on the Padilla, but I don't think I'm gonna try to hit it now. He still has too much armor. Let's hit something that we hit most of our shots on. Two damage only. Wait, is that accurate? We have this breaching shot ability. Three damage only. Weird. It says five. Huh. I don't know if it is true, man. One way to find out. There's only one way to find out. So, some of them deal four, some of them deal two, seemingly. That's awkward. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Black guy's gonna move. Not much to do anyway. It's kind of weird, because here we deal three damage. Start on the Atlas. It's a big target for me. Okay. So, 13 evasion. I am in the back of this guy. You know what? I'm gonna go vigilant. Hello. Confirm this. Uh, we might get the Hauptmann down in one shot. If we're getting lucky, so let's get lucky. Okay. Not the crit we wanted, but the crit that we deserved. This, uh, it hurts so much, man. It hurts so much going in like this. But again, I really think we have to. We gotta do it now. This is the time. This is the moment. Atlas is in... Wait, Atlas is in uh, in a quite hot uh, or uh, foresty scenario. He might get back to the water later, so incendiaries might not be the best choice. Got 55 LK. So we can we can shoot this, I guess. I'm looking for headshots, obviously. Okay, 36 heat. It's not a lot, but hey, he's in fire now. I don't know what he's gonna do with it. Again, the the cooling refreshment is just one step away from him. Sensor lock. Not good. Not good. Uh oh. But we're good. Is the Padilla out of um, artillery ammo? He only shot his LRM. Weird. Okay. So, 10 movement is important. Yeah, I think this is where we drop the mines. Let's just get him out of here. That was not bad. <gasps> Hauptmann runs a heavy gauss. Oh! 
boy. That's not good. Okay. All right. Will our 10 evasion help us? Ooh, that's not great. Come on, don't shoot me. Or just shoot me indirectly with whatever you have there. I don't care. Thank you, Hauptmann. <laughs> oh, we are so lucky. So lucky. Perfect. We can now sprint. We're still a pretty far away, but... Oh, wait, but we have no impact on this guy, really. I mean, the impact we have uh, would be Infernos. Let's go with it. So, if we deal one or two damage, it doesn't make a big difference, but the heat might. Who knows? And again, the headshot matters if we get it, but we don't. Archer on the Vulture. Now we are completely unsteady. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, yeah, somebody has to take care of this tank. Right? It's an awkward spot to end in. Mm, we're gonna go vigilant, that's for sure. Go and punch, because that's what we are good at. And hope that we can crush this guy. It's probably not gonna happen. It's our best target right now. Oh god. <laughs> Sensors impaired. That's good. Okay, 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 okay. Um There was something about like heatsink crit? Did we crit our heatsinks? Did we crit their heatsinks? Probably that, right? Okay. That, that's a thing that we deserve. Completely. The knockdown is not gonna be good. We have eight activations until bleed out. Interesting. Yeah, but th this is the moment where we decide to go all in against all of these bad boys. We're gonna start with Mr. Atlas. We can shoot SRMs on him. Uh, also Vigilance because we got it. This Atlas needs to go now. That is good damage. Uh, pff, Hauptmann, 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 Hauptmann. Could go for another punch attack. I can only kick him here. Still good enough, honestly. I should I would show my back against this, but it's it's okay. There's not a lot left over except for the demolisher, which I'm actually a bit afraid of. All right, let's do it. Let's go for it. Yeah, kick that guy. Okay. Gauss down. Beautiful. So he's down to a medium. No, wait. One ER small and two ER medium lasers. This should be fine. Here comes the Padilla. Still has a sniper. So he still has ammo. Decides to go for the Fujin, though. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Wizard. I really want to kick this guy again in the same spot. Punch him, but that would result in us not having any evasion. Can we survive another shot from this? Ooh, we actually crit the supercharger. That's what we got there. Oh, we had like a 2% chance to fail, I believe. Or was it 6? I don't know. Um, so we got unlucky. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I don't know. Staying here feels so bad. Going for the other side also feels so bad. Going for the front, we can only kick. Going into this, we can only kick. Oh, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Okay, let's 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 focus. Let's focus for a second. Let's check initiative. Like where are we? Uh, the Behemoth might actually kill the Vulture. The Hauptmann is out of the game. The Atlas is slower than the Vulture, so we can stand up and run. We still have the Archer to potentially take down the Atlas. If we're getting crit lucky. 17 is the Demolisher, which is gonna shred. Nah, maybe not. Maybe he's not getting the angle. I don't know. Um, difficult. Really difficult. But he will certainly go for my Grasshopper then, which I cannot afford losing. That arm is about to pop. So we jump. 
We jump into the water because we want to cool. Hello. Goodbye. And then we shoot the Atlas. Jammed. That's not good. And... Should have disabled that. Uh, but okay. This is helping. Okay. Backstrike against the Behemoth. What is your back armor? I don't see it. Fine. I want to hit the Atlas. It's important. So, we, I think we have to expose ourselves. This is where we close in. This is where we're going to try to get things done. I want to go Artemis. And I want to sensor lock this guy. I don't know if he has any evasion currently. Let's try. What's it going to do? Oh, wait. Yeah, he's unsteady. I should have checked that. Okay. But we got a better hit chance out of it. Perfect. He's also getting knocked. That is so good. That is so good, man. Okay, 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 okay. Mm, Timby is fresh, so we're gonna present a target to the behemoth. And honestly, we should try to kill this thing now. With inferno stuff from the same side. Let's go. Please, 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 please. Not quite. Okay, next round he's gonna go down. So, question is, what's he gonna do? Is my Vulture gonna live? So far, yes. Still alive. Ooh. That was the Demolisher? Yeah, it was. Okay. So, turn 15. It's the turn of the Archer, it's the turn of the Behemoth. Oh, unexpected. But actually, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I got into here. Really. This is like one and a half hour video again. Oh man. It's too long. I don't want to make such a long content happen. I think like 40 minutes is good. An hour is okay, but beyond that... Oh my god. Um... This is a... Uh, backstrikes. Or... I don't know if we should shoot the behemoth more to take him. Or if I should go for other opportunity targets. Like these guys here. We want to stay in motion, that's for sure. Nine is a f nine is fine. Let's go. Nine is fine. Archer is not the biggest of deals. I think this guy might be. He's not really shooting his ballistic anymore. I don't know why. So I guess we go for Archer. We go Vigilant as well. All right. Cool, he's open. Maybe we can do something with that. Hauptmann is down to the laser weapons, which I don't really care about. That's fine. Give me my vulture. Thank you. Oh boy. We gotta pull back now. Completely. As much as we can. Which is not a lot. Okay. So, um... 12% was that the Hauptmann I don't care about the Hauptmann really I care about the Atlas he might be out of action for the moment but somebody has to crit him completely so we're gonna shoot whatever we can now that's too much maybe this is enough let's go nine heat why would you do that? Oh, give a fine. Oh, no. Oh, this is the worst. I know he was bleeding out and he was panicked, but still. That was very unfortunate. That is, is a cockpit loss now. Which I don't appreciate. And I don't know if we also might lose the mech. Huh? Left side twist is important. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We got the archer. Let's finish him off. I just don't want to be here anymore. We just gotta get things done. Okay. On the behemoth, ideally. Yeah. Certainly. 100%. Saram Artemis. Uh, let's go vigilant as well, because initiative might matter still. Yeah. 
so close to death. So close. Alright, fine. Turn 20. Okay, he just shoots uh, SRMs. Uh, sorry, LRMs. Two LRM5s. That is what the sniper artillery is able to get out there. Okay, right side attack. Going for the kick. Come on, buddy. Ooh. I think we have all the threats on the battlefield now. Under control. Ah, wait, there's a behemoth. Uh, no. Not the behemoth. The demolisher still. Never mind, never mind. There's still something that might hurt us big time. And it is his turn now. Alright, let's see what he's doing. Another bleed out, another headshot. You got lucky there. So, we turn off hot seat. Uh, there's a spot where I can hit the Atlas with good line of sight. I I'll take this one. It's fine. We want to make sure that he's gonna kept overheat it. He does not like that. I, I mean, he's not really impressed with that. Zero damage, man. He's about to fall. I think I should actually attack the Demolisher now. Because the Atlas doesn't have a lot anymore. Okay. I mean, we got some damage in. Somebody else can take him, like the Archer or so. Hauptmann still has the 50 damage output of the two medium lasers. Yeah, it's about finishing things now. Okay, 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 okay. Mm, let's get down to business. And go vigilant, very important. And then we're gonna hit him hard. This should be the end of the Atlas. Maybe not. He's only taking one damage. Like, what's the deal here, Mr. Atlas? How do you take so little damage? Okay, that was nothing. The streak did not fire. Sprint around, sprint around. Get him down, hopefully. Five damage now. Come on, he's still alive. I don't believe it. But there's more. There's way more where that came from. Cool. Knockdown. <laughs> well, I'm actually afraid of the... of the... Of the be uh, not the behemoth, but the demolisher. He might actually hurt us. Still. So he's gonna certainly be my next target. We wanna attack him from the right side, which is exactly here. But that's just a charge attack. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Good. Whatever. Going vigilant. Going attack. The knock should help with the follow-up damage. Great. Panic level critical. That's great. That lowers his hit chance tremendously. Man, I really hope we can get out of this with our Vulture intact. Okay. Right side twist if possible. Go for this guy. Front. Not enough. His turn. I know I'm making risky maneuvers here. His side doors might pop. But hey, we still got AMS here, and they're going for the Timberwolf. All right, this is the biggest part of the turn. Usually, when the demolisher is demolishing things, we are finally going for another punch attack. Let's do it. Go for it. Or maybe not, because we miss. And? One hit at the very least. Okay. <laughs> Hauptmann. I know. I know. I ignored him. But again, they are bigger fish to fry. Way bigger fish. Oh, no vigilance. Okay. Okay. 
And then again, the two damage problem that we got. We're not really effective with our damage in general. And the Atlas is standing up again. And he's gonna fall again. And he's gonna get up again. And he's hitting! I was not expecting that, honestly. Okay. Fine. So, we're gonna finish Hauptmann now. I'm gonna make some room in the vicinity of the Demolisher anyway. So, Hauptmann gets kicked. Hopefully, he gets destroyed. No, not quite. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Good. Uh, go back here. Get this guy. 30 missiles left. God. Atlas down. Finally. I wonder if the Atlas is compatible with the parts that we got already. We'll see about it. Right. So. Give me this stupid demol ish -er. I'm gonna just punch him now. I don't care anymore. Yeah, hit him, buddy. Down. Down, 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 down. Guys, we got it in the back. I think at this point, there is very little that can hurt us anymore. So, we tried to hit Padilla from here. Not quite, but almost. Mm-hmm. Hopman. Ah, <laughs> he wants it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> He's gonna go for it. Nice. And then we can use our Timby or... Who else? You? You wanna go for it? Fine. Go ahead and attack him. It's a very ineffective attack, I know. We just need to get a little bit of a back damage out there. Um, ooh, oh wait, that's that's interesting. I wanted to go for the Padilla again to take him down, but I'm not mobile enough. You know what? I'll do it like that. And the cool thing is we still have a lot of ammunition left, so our, my concerns were not really justified. We managed it quite well. But hey, that was a mission in a... There was two missions in one, basically. Oh no, don't you dare now. Using your laser to take down my fusion. Okay, we got this. Uh, charge? No, I'm not gonna go charge. So, Padilla didn't move, so we have perfect hit chance, basically. What we now need is one good shot at the side and we are good to go. Holy crap. This guy has nothing really, so we're gonna already move over to the target zone. And he's gonna stand and shoot from here. The last few missiles on the archer though, so there's not a lot left. Yeah, that's the last shot. But it was literally the last shot that we needed. Ooh. Okay. Okay, 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 that was hell of a fight, honestly. But I think everything considered, we we were doing it as, as good as we could. Uh, you're fine. Don't you do anything. Actually, I think I can just take Kaspar and, and jump around like crazy, yeah. He's gonna be the one getting into the zone. Everybody else can just chill at this point. Okay, here we go. Get in there. And we're good. Wow! So, question. Do we keep our Vulture? Do we keep our tank? Who knows? We'll see about it. And also, what's the repair cost gonna be? Technically, I mean, apart from the cockpit that we lost now from the Vulture, and possibly the tank and the mech themselves, we didn't get crit. We still had armor everywhere. I mean, the Wacker not in the end. But again, no criticals done. We didn't lose any items, no components. That was okay. With that overwhelming firepower, that was an actual okay run. So, 56,000? Oh god. So what did we lose? A Mark II? A DNI? Oh, yeah, it hurts. It hurts a bit. Cool. Now, there is a lot to take here. Demolisher parts, Atlas parts. 
We have this Atlas DHP. I don't know. I think I have to take it just to see if I can build this together. Mm, Hauptmann, Longbow, the Mad Cat is beautiful, but I'm not going to take that. Vulture, one, two, three, four, five. Is this our Vulture? No, we had a 70 toner. This is a 60 toner. That's the other Vulture. Absolutely. Clan ATMs. I would like to play around with them, honestly. Let's see what else we got. A heavy Gauss rifle. That has a self-knockdown chance. I'm not going to take that. We don't really have any items that help us with this. Clan LRM-15 is a beautiful item to have. Obviously, you know that I love them. We got some max shots. We have so much here. So much. Sniper artillery is good. But also self-knockdown. Clan Endosteel is universally good. 300 rated engine. XL Clan. Oh boy, look at all the stuff here. Pharaoh Lamellor. Yeah, the damage reduction is nice. But the armor is going up. The weight of the armor is going up. Heavy Pharaoh. Guardian ECM is a thing that we probably want. But I don't want to pick it here. Let me take a look at my ammo count. We got one ATM ammo. We got, I think, one ER and one high explosive, right? Yes. Acid MRM. That's pretty good, man. Uh, more Behemoth. More Demolisher. Wow. There is, there's so much stuff. Is the Demolisher a worthy pick? It's an 80-ton tank, and it's fearsome. The Bombast Lasers, they do damage. It's one, two, three parts here, and two parts of the Behemoth, so we're gonna scroll up again. Three parts of the Demolisher. Two parts of the Behemoth. So we have a total of four on the Behemoth, and we have a total of four on the Demolisher as well, so it's not worth picking. I'm gonna pick those ATMs, because I can so, let's do something with them and hope that it's gonna be good. And I hope that I also get some good random salvage. I'll take a bin of high explosive. Or two bins, actually, and uh, two bins of regular ammo. Since we have one extended range, I think we're gonna use only one of them. Because this is just the stuff that you use to close in. And when you're closed, then you go nuts on, on all of the other things. Good. We might get an Atlas out of this. I don't know. So... Here's the unlucky thing. Cloudbuster down. But we have enough parts to build it together again. Uh, the Mad Cat. Nice. Padilla Artillery. Nice. Okay. Here are mediums. Uh, 300 rated engine. Fuel cell engine. The Guardian ECM. Not bad. Omni hand and ammunition. That was incredible. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. It helps me out a ton as a content creator. Leave a comment as well. Subscribe to the channel if you want more of this. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.